what would you play here as black? White has just played e4 and is putting a lot of pressure on this pawn center. So if black were to play a move like rook f to d8, white could simply take once and then just kind of leave the tension in the center, maybe play a move like f4 to protect the e5 pawn, and white is already looking much better. This bishop on g2 is controlling a lot of space and putting a lot of pressure on black's pawn center. In addition, this knight doesn't really have a good square to go to, and this bishop is not doing a whole lot. It's quite passive. So if black were to just, you know, play normal moves, maybe knight back here, maybe knight here, possibly even moving a pawn out to g6, so that there's no back rank checkmates, then black's position would become quite passive, and white would ultimately gain the upper hand with greater activity. So what black did here was very, very good. After white plays e4, can you guess black's next move? Go ahead and pause the video and take some time to think about this position. You have a very bad bishop and a very bad knight. So how can you make those pieces much better? Well, the answer is surprisingly d4, a pawn sacrifice. Queen takes d4, you know, what else can you do? Pawn moves to c5, attacking the queen, and suddenly this bishop that was doing really good is now quite passive. Y does have an extra pawn, but they, he has two doubled pawns in the center of the board that are quite difficult to defend. And after pawn captures, all of a sudden, black's knight is now looking really good as well. So even though white does have this extra pawn, it's not really going to account for anything because black has so much activity. The rooks are doing really good, the knight's really well placed, and the bishop's well placed. It is actually white now that is fighting for a draw. And in fact, this game went on for a while longer and then a draw was eventually agreed. But it just goes to show how powerful a pawn sacrifice can be and how strategically important it can be. You can use this in your own games to place your pieces on much better squares and to control more space and also to gain the initiative. Thank you for watching.